So one of the first things we need to do in this class is get ready to code, right? This is a programming class and we're going to do lots of coding. So the first we're going to do an environment. Now you can choose another integrated development environment if you want, but the one that I'm going to demonstrate is Sea Lion. So let me show you how I went about getting that. So I just typed in Sea Lion in here and it came up and showed me that. And that opened up this page and it allows me to get a free 30 day trial or to buy it. And I don't want to do either of those things. I'm going to use it longer than 30 days and I certainly don't want to pay for it. So what I did is put Sea Lion Free Student in here in the search. And this came up with this page, Free Educational Licenses. And if you scroll down this page, there's an Apply Now button. And they're going to use a variety of ways to decide if you qualify. The one I used was an official university email address. And I was able to put my Weber email address in there and I was able to get that license pretty quickly. Now, once that license showed up in my account, I did have to set up it for a JetBrains account. Notice that Sea Lion is just one of the different environments that JetBrains um, puts out. Right, so depending on what language you're using, you might be able to use some of these other languages or these other environments. But we're going to be using C++, so C line is the one that we want. So you just click on that and download it. That takes a while, so we'll pause and come back. After it finished downloading, and by the way, you can choose when you're downloading what version you want, right? Because Sea Lion works for Windows, Macs, Linux, so be sure and pick the kind, the, the version that works for your computer. But then you just open up that download and it will come up ready to install. And you can just go through the installer and uh, often the defaults work really well, so I'm just gonna go through and do those defaults. and then let it install. That took a while, but once installation is done, then you can just click to run it or just click finish. I'm gonna go ahead and run it and let's see what happens. So it takes a while to open up. The first time I'm gonna pause it, and I'm gonna have it not import settings and continue to open up. Now when we open it up, you can choose your theme or do a variety of things. And I'm going to just skip all the remaining and set defaults. And I can change all of those settings in the future if I want to. The next thing that comes up is this configure tool chains. And this really um, is where you're going to have to make some decisions about how you want to do that. Notice that I have a couple of things here in the left, and both of these are compilers. And they're just already on my system. I've used them for other projects, and Sea Lion can find them and say, oh, we can use those. If you don't have a compiler at this point, then if you don't have any options over here for a compiler, then you're gonna have to go um, find some. And so one of the things that I recommend is that you get the Sea Lion Quick Start Guide. So again, you can just type Sea Lion Quick Start Guide, and this will be information for you on how to download and install and set up um, Sea Lion. So it works on lots of platforms, so they're a little bit different. So down here in the Configure the IDE, there's a tutorial on Windows, there's one for Mac, and I don't see one for um, Linux, but oh, here's a click to it. So different places where you can find that. But uh, if you're on the Windows and you need to find out what is, a, it tells you the variety of in, um, settings that you can use for your uh, different compilers, right? So you can choose one of these. Um, CGWin, MinGW, WSL, or Microsoft Visual C++. And you see the two that I had. I had MinGW and Visual, Microsoft Visual C++, or Visual Studio is what I had. But that, um, so it can find those. And if you don't have one coming up, if you have one, go ahead and select it. If you don't, then go ahead and go through the steps to download that as well.
Now I'm just going to leave CMake bundled and Debugger bundled, and that will work great for me. And then I just go down here to the bottom and say, start using CLion. And now we're ready to go. We've got it all set up. And you know, each system is a little bit different, so yours might not work quite like mine. So go ahead and keep this uh, getting started guide here so that you can go back and find the details that you might need to get yours up and running.